All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another cloning procedure. Today, we're cloning this uh, BCM. It came out of a Chevrolet Malibu, I believe. I'm not exactly sure what year, but uh, anyway, we got the uh, new or used replacement right here. This right here is the original one. And if you look inside, you can see that we have some serious water damage. I mean, just look at that circuit board. It is completely corroded. And on the bottom side too, look at all those contacts on the board that are burned and corroded. So yeah, this one's getting tossed in the garbage. Now, luckily they were able to find the exact same part number this 13518372 so this clone procedure should be pretty straightforward we're basically just going to swap over the eprom as you can see on the original board i already went ahead and removed it it's right over here on the mat this is our eprom chip right there so now we're going to go ahead and move over to the used replacement this one as you can see is much cleaner no corrosion on this one now if you guys are curious where the eprom is located it's on the bottom side well i don't know what you would consider the bottom but it's on the opposite side of this so if i flip it around the eprom chip is going to be this eight-legged chip right here this little guy right there now we could read the original chip using a programmer like the xp400 or the vvdi prog and then write the data from the original chip over to the replacement however i'm in a hurry right now so i don't really have time to do all that i'm basically going to do a straight up eprom swap so i'm going to go ahead and remove the eprom from this board and then we're going to replace it with the one from the original so we're going to put a little bit of flux on these pins and then we're going to hit it with some hot air once you see the solder get nice and shiny we can go ahead and pull it off just like that, we have our EEPROM off of the board. Let's go ahead and set this one aside. I'm gonna clean up the contact pads on the board. Now we're just gonna place the original EEPROM from the original BCM onto our new board. Make sure you have the orientation correct. Once again, we're gonna hit it with the hot air. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Just for extra measure, I like to take the tip of the soldering iron and just make sure that each of these are completely soldered to the pads. Okay, so now we're just gonna take our little tweezers and we're going to check to make sure that none of the pins are loose. It's like to clean it off with a little alcohol pad. Get all that flux off of there. And just like that, we are all done. Now this EEPROM chip is what holds the mileage, the immobilizer code, and the VIN number. So let's go ahead and slide it back into the case. And now we can just reinstall this back into the car. All right guys, so we made it back over to the vehicle. Let's go ahead and install our freshly cloned BCM. This is actually a 2018 Malibu, by the way. This, by the way, is a flood car. And let me tell you, it smells awful. Wow, it's actually fogging up the lens on my glasses and on my phone. That's how much humidity is emitting from this thing. I might have to let this thing air out before I install this. All right, guys, so we got the BCM installed. I'm gonna try to do this really quick because it smells horrible in here, but you can see the BCM is plugged in right there and I've got the key right here. So let's see if we can start this thing up. All right, so as you can see, this thing started right up. Now before, this thing would not even crank because the BCM was completely destroyed. So this clone was successful. Another fix for the books. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.